Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some eggnog from United Dairy Farmers. I believe this is United Dairy Farmers. Now that I say that, I better look. Yeah, United Dairy Inc. Uh, Martins Ferry, Ohio is what it says. And that is where we have found United Dairy Farmers before. In Ohio. So, in Ohio. Uh, mm -hmm. We found them at, uh, we, we reviewed the ice creams. I think we did two different ice creams. Uh, they were like the Ben and Jerry size ice creams. Uh, but we found them at Jungle Gems International Market in Ohio. So then we found these eggnogs in, in Walmart. It was like, oh my gosh, these flavors sound so cool. Mm -hmm. So this is the original. But this one is red velvet cake. And then I have the pumpkin spice. So that'll be cool to try. Uh, the original was $5.47 and the flavors, the uh, red velvet and the pumpkin spice were only four seventy eight. dollars yeah. I have no they idea. They may have been a buy two for a certain oh. price or something. I, I don't know. Okay, okay. Yeah, we just get them and look at the receipt. Yeah. So we don't know. So uh, this is eggnog 100% real milk from local family farms 16 servings four ounces or 120 milliliters it's not much i can tell you that four ounces that's oh, not for a serving <laughs> yeah it's, it's a shot glass 170 calories i like to drink like so three of these people always ask anytime we review eggnog does it taste like eggs because some people are just not familiar with it no you know if you never drank it before and uh then some people in other countries don't have eggnog so how would you describe eggnog it's in it's, the uk well it's thick it's See very how thick, thick. It is? there's a there's a custard? Um, custard a cooked custard or something like that it's like there's a custard drink that a lot of people might relate this to it's similar to that it's very thick um milk based product but it's got uh very specific seasonings in it Nutmeg, a little bit of cinnamon. See, I don't see cinnamon. It says artificial flavors, but definitely nutmeg. And I, um, I um, taste the nutmeg. I actually get the texture of some seasoning in there. Like I, I can feel it in my throat. Oh, really? Um, it's the first ingredient is milk, but then it's milk, high fructose corn syrup, cream, egg yolks, whey, cornstarch, non-fat milk, sugar. No, I've milk, comma, sugar, comma. Um, and then there's a bunch of things. Gum, I mean gum. Um, well, it said something. Guar, G-U-A-R gum. Salt, uh, let's see, nutmeg. But it, um, it's it's thick. It's very, very rich. Yeah, but this it, one's not as sweet as some we've had. I, I do think it's sweet though. It is sweet. It's just not as sweet. It would remind you too of like if you ever um, ordered a, a milkshake and you let it melt just slightly. So not totally melted milkshake, but it's not like when you first get some milkshakes, it's so frozen you can't get it up through the straw. This is like it's set for a little bit because it's still thick. Um, that's the texture of it. But I, lo I love the flavor. I, I like it. it. I there are other brands I like better uh -huh. that have a, a better um, a, a spice that I like a little bit better. Uh -huh. But this is it's good. Don't get me wrong; it's, it's still very good. But there's I could drink that. Yeah, there's uh, there's other brands out there that I think I like the the texture is basically the same for all of them. But sometimes those things come off, and sometimes they don't. But um, the it's the spice. There's there's uh, I don't know. It doesn't seem as sweet as. Some of the other I would have to have them side by side, yeah, no. and we have done taste tests of eggnog. So, like we've we've reviewed a lot of eggnog on this channel. If you do a search, Tammy Dunn eggnog, there's going to be a lot. Um, this one is 170 calories. I wonder if they're all the same. 170. I think they're all the same. They're all the same. Okay, so this is red velvet cake. Okay, did you try it? Uh -huh. No. different <laughs> it's not bad it's just different gosh how would you describe it? i know i don't even know it's you know how red velvet has usually the it's basically a red chocolate cake but it has a, like a cream cheese frosting that almost has a, cr a sweet cream cheese kind of like flavor or not yeah cream cheese but it's got a touch of that little the chocolate flavor 
Um, I don't know how. I you're think. Proud. I think I'm experiencing the same thing you are. It's almost like I've had some cream cheese frosting, and that's the the flavor. That's the essence that I have. Um, I mean, it's in. Uh, all in my mouth, in my nasal passages and everything. It just seems, it's coming across as like a cream cheese. Yeah. Um, That's the flavor I got. That's yeah, well, like, well, you, well. like you've eaten a piece of red velvet cake and this is the, the after flavor that, that's left. Mm -hmm. I really do like it. I think it's very unique. It's different. Um, it's very different than traditional eggnog. Mm -hmm. um, you, you're not getting the nutmeg in there at all. No, there's no, it may as well not be eggnog. It's right. the same texture as eggnog, but it doesn't have the spices. Exactly. Yeah. I agree with you. Okay, so now we have... It's good. Pumpkin spice. Did you... Go ahead and take it off for um, me. I didn't <laughs> like it. As well. I know, that's what it does. That's, that, that's exactly why I had issues. And I'm thinking of the song, Turn, Turn, Turn. <laughs> Pumpkin this is the spice. eggnog season to turn, turn, turn. <laughs> um, pumpkin spice. No, I like that one. Wow. I like the seasonings of that. That seems, uh, we've had pumpkin spice eggnog before. And it didn't seem to have quite as heavy uh, spices as that does. Yeah. Um, that is that is a lot heavier. Mm -hmm. uh, that said, though, I really like it a lot. Yeah, I like that one. That's probably my favorite one. Um, I I think you're getting um, you're getting all those pumpkins. That you're getting ginger. Mm -hmm. You're getting nutmeg. You're getting a hit of cinnamon. Maybe a little clove. Uh, you're get yeah. You're getting all of that in rolled into one, yeah. and it is delicious. Um, so yeah, I like these a lot. These were on an end cap at our Walmart. That's where we found them. Now, if you uh, these I are I still don't like the regular. Oh, see, uh, I do. I, there's something about the spices in there. I just uh, I don't I don't like as. Huh? That just surprises me. If you don't live in this area, so Ohio, we're in Kentucky. Ohio's <laughs> north of us, directly north of us. Um, if you don't live in the area, you might not have ever seen United Dairy Farmers. I know, like we don't get their ice creams and stuff like that, like they have there. Um, but. I think it's cool that we get these. So it would be interesting to hear in the comments, oh yeah, we get that brand all the time and we're in Florida. You know, that would be neat to hear. Uh, but you might not ever see this brand at all. Um, yeah, we don't literally don't see it that often here at all. No, but these were on, like when you go to the refrigerated section, normally when it gets this the holiday time of year, they will devote one of those end cap refrigerators to eggnog, mm -hmm. a different brand. Oh, the whole thing up. <laughs> Southern Comfort or what, you yeah. know, whatever, eggnog. And so this time when we went in, it was this. And it, it really caught our attention, that pink, because you're like, is that strawberry? Yeah, that's what we're going for. That's one I probably would not want to drink again. I, I don't necessarily love the regular one. I mean, I like it, but I don't love it as much as some of the other flavors. That I don't know. The red velvet is is it's it's a little too weird for me. It's yeah, I <laughs> like it, but it's just different to drink it rather than to eat it. It's yeah. kind of like. Uh, astronaut food or something, you know, it's just different. But think about having it in a milkshake. You could have a red velvet milkshake, yeah. but that is what it's and, like. And, and it does have that cream cheese frosting flavor, but it's just not as sweet. So it, it, I don't know. It's just, it's just different. So what is your favorite? The pumpkin spice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my favorite's going to be the original. the original. I like the original. But now I would drink any one of these. And us just sitting here taking a shot, we've probably had 400 calories uh, or something. It's awful. It, it's, it's awful how quick it adds up. It is supposed to be one of the highest calorie things you can drink. And it's a lot of it from fat. If you're trying to gain weight, <laughs> drink eggnog. Drink it. I'm very. I had somebody comment the other day. I'm I'm trying to gain weight, and I'm thinking, oh, what could you drink? And I was thinking a milkshake, but I never thought eggnog would be better. Egg, if you want to gain some weight, drink, drink or, you some eggnog. Uh, a, a custard. 
Oh yeah. Cooked custard drink. I've seen the custard too. Uh, they had eggnog and they had custard at Meyer, and I love 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 the custard the custard just doesn't have the spices it's basically the same texture it's, it's like vanilla it, it's yeah delicious. it just doesn't have the the spices like eggnog. it's absolutely delicious yeah. so yeah just uh, if you have never tried eggnog and you see it give it a try i mean it you, you might know, hate it you might hate it uh but i think you should absolutely try it if you don't like it then hopefully you live with somebody else that you can give it to and if not it's five dollars you know so we're down the sink so i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching